While the TTPs of some threat actors remain consistent over time, others refresh their toolsets and extend the scope of their activities to launch new malicious campaigns. Advanced persistent threat actors are constantly seeking new, more sophisticated ways to perform their attacks. And the third quarter of 2022 was no exception. In this video, Kaspersky experts from the Global Research and Analysis team, Jörn van der Wiel, Pierre Delcher and Dan Demeter discuss how APTs have changed in the third quarter of 2022 and, most importantly, how to defend against them. Can you tell me about the D-Track campaign that you tracked this quarter? First about D-Track. So D-Track is a backdoor used by the Lazarus group and Lazarus is you know, a very notorious APT threat actor. Uh, they've been known to hack Sony um, and some other organizations and D-Track is one of the tools that they keep on using. So initially we found it about three years ago uh, and they used it to, as a part of their tool set to breach ATMs. Uh, we also found it at the nuclear power plant and now we've seen it also appearing in Europe. And they use this tool mostly to extract data or money or other things from their targets in order to make money. So what's interesting about the malware? What's interesting about the malware is that since the last time we published about it, the malware itself, so the core functionality, didn't change that much. Of course, there were some changes, but not that many. Uh, but what is new is that they added another layer of obfuscation to the malware in order to make analysis more difficult. Uh, they've also made some other small changes, um, but you know, not really noteworthy. Uh, what's also interesting about this piece of malware is that they use encryption algorithms, but they modified the encryption algorithm slightly. So they are not the you know, normal encryption algorithm as we know it, but the code matches you know, like 90 or 99%. APT actors are now strenuously using cunning and unexpected methods in their attacks. Have Kaspersky experts observed any never-seen-before tools? We recently analyzed the never-seen-before Metatron. Metatron is a set of previously unknown and extremely sophisticated malicious tools that remain undetected for years. We cooperatively analyzed these new malicious tools and activities with a third-party cybersecurity vendor in 2022. Our partners named the associated threat actor Metador. Metatron is composed of Metamain, an intermediate backdoor, and Mafalda, a modular implant. They both run on Windows systems. Implants are executed in memory after several stages of decryption and are initially launched through the abuse of a legitimate tool in a previously undocumented fashion. The toolset can ultimately provide the attackers with any capability that is imaginable on a compromised computer, such as arbitrary command execution, keyboard strokes logging, credential stealing, screenshotting, file stealing, network discovery, and much more. Metatron stands out as being highly evasive, able to identify and act upon many security products to stay undetected, and it can stealthily communicate with external servers in various ways. The toolset um, shows evidence of a highly skilled development tip, which is likely separated from the operators that leverage the malicious implants against targets. The associated malicious infrastructure is carefully rotated and never reused between targets. Ints also indicate that malicious counterpart implants for Linux may exist. In fact, Metatron is so advanced that it can only be the creation of the most mature APT actors. According to our partners, Metatron targeted telecommunication providers and universities in the Middle East and in Africa. Metatron is still to be further investigated by the cybersecurity community and could not be attributed to date. We know that the cyber espionage continues to be the prime aim of APT campaigns, especially targeting governmental institutions. But have you noticed any notable incidents of APTs attacking unusual industries? In the past months, um, we've been researching and we discovered a peculiar APT campaign. It's called DICF, and it, what makes it interesting is that it's targeting um, online casinos from Southeast Asia. And then you might say, oh, Dan, but this is just another uh, campaign trying to steal a lot of money. Well, from our research, and if I could speculate a little bit here, we believe that they are actually not after the money, but rather after the players, the um, customers, and also the movement of the money. 
we have we haven't seen any proof that they tried to um, steal they tried to move any kind of money but rather we've seen that they are um, they targeted uh, developers which were um, also contractors they targeted um, the app developers they targeted the people who were taking care of the networks the infrastructure and um, they just sat there silently monitoring everything and then they didn't make any movement trying they didn't make any actions trying to, to move any money or anything so because of that we believe that they were uh, looking for something bigger or for something more important Though APT actors always in search for new techniques and tactics, most of the trends discussed today are likely to stay with us. Organizations need to make sure they are armed with threat intelligence and the right tools to protect them from existing and emerging threats. Kaspersky experts recommend provide your security operations center team with the access to the latest threat intelligence. The Kaspersky Threat Intelligence Portal is a single point of access for the company's TI providing cyber attack data and insights gathered by Kaspersky over the past 25 years. Upskill your cybersecurity team to enable them to tackle the latest targeted threats with Kaspersky online training developed by great experts. Use enterprise-grade EDR solutions such as Kaspersky EDR Expert. To learn more about the other interesting findings from the third quarter of 2022, check out the full Apity Trends report on SecureList. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our latest cybersecurity discoveries.